Thank you. And now, McDonald's proudly sponsors What's on Your Plate with your host, Willie Muntright. Hi, I'm Willie, and this is my little sister, Tina. Hello. And my friends, Kiki <laughs> and Lucas. Yo. Yo, Willie, there's a message for you on the screen. Hey, it's a letter. Dear Willie, I told my teacher how cool you are about food, and she said I should ask you to talk to our class during show and tell. Can you make it? Excellent idea, Ken. Just set up a chair, and I'm there. Go right ahead, William. Well, I'm here today to show and tell you how eating smart can help you grow stronger and play longer. But let me tell you what I know by getting on with the show. What's on your plate with your host, Willie Muntright? Hi, I'm Willie. What's the for for William Bartholomew Muntright? Hey, it's a letter. Dear Willie, is it okay to eat cake every day? Ben eating. Excellent question, Ben. Cake is what we call a sometimes food. So are chips, candy, and other sweet things. It's okay to eat these sometimes, just not all the time. It's kind of like going to the zoo. It wouldn't be as good to go every day. Willie's back. Oh, boy. But just like monkeys play every day and birds sing every day, every day. it's good for us kids to eat plenty of everyday foods every day. <laughs> like bananas, corn, rice, lean meat, and 1% milk. Foods like these come first, then you can have your cake. And eat it too. Zap your hunger and thirst with everyday foods first. That's what's on your plate. What's on your plate with your host, Willie Muntright? That's me. Thanks for tuning in. Agent Postal Service. Today's letter is really small. <laughs> Dear Willie, I'm afraid to try new foods. Can you help? Timid. Excellent question, Tim. It happens I've toured the world trying new foods. I've asked the finest chef in all of Italy. What's good here? Spaghetti! <laughs> Spaghetti! I've asked the islanders of the South Seas. What can you recommend? Tuna noodle casserole. Tuna noodle casserole. I've even scaled the highest mountain to ask the wisest man in the world. Oh, wise one, what should I try? Melon balls. As you can see, Tim, everyone has a favorite. But we should be adventurous and try new foods. Start with just a bite. Then you make the call. Who knows? You may end up with new favorites. I like noodles so much. So why be shy? Give new food to try. That's what's on your plate. Okay, everybody. Take five. Oh, right. Oh, this yes. is cool. Hey, wait, you guys. I mean everybody take five food groups. Oh, I was wondering. Can anybody name them for me? Um, fruit? Mm-hmm. Vegetables. Right, plus grains, milk, and proteins. And your body needs them all to keep you on the ball. Hey, Willie, this is what's on your plate, not what's on your head. Why are you wearing the pan? <laughs> it's a hard hat. We have a lot of work to do. We do? Heads up. Today's question is from Bill Ding. Bill asks, why does my mom want me to eat so many different foods? Excellent question, Bill. You know how a building needs different people to work on it? Hello, hey, what's up? Well, your body needs different foods to work on it. Like 1% milk for strong bones. Proteins like fish, lean meat, and red beans for muscles. Broccoli and carrots to help keep your skin and hair looking healthy. And bread, cereal, and rice for energy. By eating all the foods, you can build a stronger, healthier building. Or Willie Muntright, or whoever you are. It's all different foods that build stronger dudes. That's what's on your plate. Cool, huh? Now here's the scoop on each of the groups. I'm Willie, with all you need to know about things that help you grow. Hey, it's today's letter. Jimmy Crapcorn writes, what foods come from wheat fields? Hmm, beats me. Thanks for writing, Jimmy. Hold on a minute. Professor Food Whiz. Now, William. He always calls me that. Wheat, corn, and rice are all grains, and they're harvested and turned into foods like bread, buns and rolls, spaghetti, oatmeal, pancakes, even your cereal, William. Wow. And grains are everyday foods. You should eat at least six a day. Like cereal and toast with breakfast? Maybe tortillas or rice with dinner? Whatever the combination, grain foods help give you the energy to jump higher and play longer. Well, you heard him. Dudes with brains eat foods with grains. Six a day. That's the way. That's what's on your plate. <laughs> That's one with four to come. 
Billy, this is floating in the pool. It's today's letter from California. Hey, Willy Man, vegetables are way big out here. Why do I have to eat them? Alfalfa sprout. Excellent question, Al. I'm all over it like the next wave. Dude! See, vegetables are like your body's help meister. <laughs> and since they're everyday foods, you should eat them every day. Yeah. Veggies like tomatoes do stuff, like help heal cuts and totally gnarly bruises. Excellent. Carrots can help you see in the dark. Whoa. Broccoli can help your locks look shinier. Stylish. And most totally important, if you eat at least three a day, they'll help you be the big kahuna of surfing dudes. Carrots, tomatoes, broccoli, celery, and green pepper sound great. Well, I have a way to catch you later. Just remember, hot, warm, or cool, veggies rule. That's what's on your plate. Here's two, right back at you. Oh, hi there, package for Wooly Much, right? Wow, all the way from Tahiti. Today's letter, Willie. It's from Berry Delicious. Luckily, I can read Tahitian. Eahate mea, how I ite, mona mona no te amu. Too bad I can't understand Tahitian. I better ask an expert. Professor Food Whiz, can you tell me what this says? Sure, eahate mea. In English? Oh, of course. What's a good sweet snack? Excellent question. What do you think, Professor? In my book, it's fruit. Yeah, fruit. It's sweet and Delicious. And it's an everyday food. In fact, you should eat fruit at least twice a day. Like an apple and an orange? Or peaches, bananas, orange juice, or watermelon. They're all great. And have you ever tried doing this with a bowl of ice cream? That's using your melon. You're on the right track. When fruit's your sweet snack, that's what's on your plate. Three down. Stick around. Hi, I'm Willie. Today's letter. Dear Willie, what's your favorite drink? Empty glass. Excellent question. I personally go for the white stuff. The choice of children, champions, and creatures of the moo persuasion. Milk, like the 1% kind. Why milk? It tastes great, and along with low-fat yogurt and cheese, it helps keep your bone and teeth strong. Cool. Correct the moon, Geekmeister. Just think of the mighty dinosaurs. They couldn't have ruled the Earth for millions of years without strong bones and teeth. Did they drink milk? Uh, I don't think so. But if they did, maybe they'd still be around today. Maybe not. But to help keep your body going strong, you should have three glasses of 1% milk a day. You said it, Gertie. For a drink that's fun. Milk's the water. That's what's on your plate or in your glass. That's four, but there's still one more. It's a beautiful day for what's on your plate. I'm Willie, and you're just in time for today's question. It says, hey, Willie, what's the deal with meat? Chuck Roast of New York State. Excellent question, Chuck. Meat's neat because it has protein, but there are a lot of other foods that have protein. Let's look at the protein lineup. Turkey, Hudson, New York. Fish, St. Petersburg, Florida. Beans, Fremont, Nebraska. They're looking strong. Peanut butter, Macon, Georgia. And eggs, Portland, Oregon. What a team. You betcha, Kiki. They're a real protein. <laughs> to help you grow stronger. Just remember, you only need two servings of protein a day. You could say protein has lots of names, but they all improve your game. Good call, Kiki. That's what's on your plate. Uh, excuse me, ma'am? Yes, William? Well, ma'am, I was wondering, does your class ever go on field trips? Why, yes, sometimes. But not every day. No, I'm afraid that would just be too much. I got ya. It's kind of like eating foods that have a lot of sugar and fat. They're okay to have sometimes, but not every day. Here's more so you'll know the score. Hi, I'm Willie. When you're starving to know, just ask the pro. Extra, extra, extra. Today's letter is from Marsha Mello. What's the deal with sweets? Where does sugar fit in? Excellent question, Marsha. This is sugar. Hello, sugar. Hello to you too, sweetheart. We find sugar in candy, cake, and gooey desserts. But these are sometimes foods. Eat too much of these, and you'll leave no room for the everyday foods your body needs. Who's the square? Since it's not an everyday food, sugar is an extra, extra, extra. Sugar is an extra. Extraordinary to you, pal. It's okay to eat these sometimes, but after the everyday foods. And then, protect your pearls. Polish your china. Brush your teeth. If you know what's good for you. Can the sweets till after you eat. That's what's on your plate. Hi, I'm 
Willie. Straight, great, and up to date, this is what's on your plate. Today's letter reads, Dear Willie, what's the word on fat? Filled up. Excellent question, Phil. Let us look at fat. Not that kind of fat. The kind of fat found in foods. You can't always see the fat in foods, but you can see the foods with fat. I gotta start working out. Note the chips, ice cream, and gooey desserts. Eat too much of these and you'll leave no room for the everyday food you need. Oranges, pretzels, and frozen yogurt make great snacks. You can also cut down on fat by cutting fat from your meat. Just a little off the sides, please. Then, after plenty of everyday food, you can enjoy sometimes food. Wait, Mom, on aisle six. Fat isn't fat if you just have a tad. That's what's on your plate. Hey, did everybody eat a good breakfast this morning? Yeah. You bet. Believe it. I did. Excellente. Because eating a good breakfast really gets you going in the morning. The same way a snack and smart helps keep you going through the day. Eating right's the key to energy. Hi, I'm Willie. This is my little sister, Tina. Grow up, Tina. <laughs> Just kidding. Today's question comes from Sun Valley, Idaho. Hmm, airmail. Dawn O'Day writes, Hey, Willie, why do I have to eat breakfast? Excellent question, Dawn. Look at it this way. Or this way. <laughs> your body is sort of like a car. It needs fuel to run. Food is your body's fuel. But your engine never turns off. Ever. So even though you don't eat while you sleep, your body's still working. And when it wakes up, it needs to be refueled with breakfast. Let's go, Willie. This is my friend Kiki. Wow, Kiki. <laughs> you eat breakfast every day? Yeah, I like cereal. Or sometimes a sandwich and juice, bananas or raisins, and toast. Every day you can really crank with breakfast in your tank. That's what's on your plate. Ready to roll, Willie? I'm still waiting for today's letter. Cuckoo! Hey, you're late. Sorry, I'm a little cuckoo today. Ha! Dear Willie, is it okay to have a snack if I'm hungry between meals? Anita, bite. Excellent question, Anita. Sure, snacks are okay, especially if you choose everyday foods, like an apple. Thank you, William. Carrots are good. Correct. <laughs> Teacher's bad. So is low-fat yogurt. Nice. Mm. Or banana. Or plain popcorn. Or pretzels. And what of grapes, William? Bravo. Down it. How's the movie? Ugh, four stars. <laughs> What's your favorite snack? I like to make my own, like peanut butter on a celery stick. That's a nutty combination. <laughs> Snacking's just fine if you choose the right kind. That's what's on your plate. Let's go on the photo safari, Willie. Sure, Kiki. Just as soon as I get to... Kangaroo Bell! Thanks. Today's letter reads, Dear Willie, I know exercise is good for me, but can it be fun too? Jim Shorts. Excellent question, Jim. Staying fit is important, so eat lots of everyday food. Say peas. And find some fun ways to get exercise. Why not be like the streamlined cheetah and run like the wind? Tag your it, tag your it. Or do what the dolphins do and go for a swim. Marco! Polo! Because you sure don't want to be like the hippopotamus, wasting all your energy by sitting on your bottomless. Tag, you're it! Oh, darn. So make like a kangaroo and jump at the chance to play. Get off that couch, don't be a slouch. Just get outside and work that pouch. That's what's on your plate. Well, that's about it for the show and the tell. But hey, next time you sit down to eat, think about what's on your plate. Because choosing smart can really help you... Whoa! Grow up big and strong. Awesome. Later, dudes, and we'll talk more on foods. <laughs>